Pike Morley, how are things? Tommy, good, all good now. All good. Looking forward to the weeks ahead. Yeah, we're catching up here about 10 days out from the All-Ireland final. Um, Paddy Anders got tapped in the shoulder by Jim Gavin back in 2019 and was asked to do the All-Ireland press day. That was a bad sign Paddy took it as back then. <laughs> this is not your first rodeo before the All-Ireland, is it? No, it's not. No, I've done it before. I think uh, Jack trusts me. I think that I won't say anything too silly. So, um, yeah, sure, it's grand. It's just, uh, just another thing to take off the list, really. Yeah. Well, you, you can tell, like, so, you, you know, it's it's no coincidence that it's yourself that is coming out to chat to us because you're the man that minds the house. Um, at the weekend, you had a great view of Shane Ryan's save from Garrett McKinless. Do you get your paws on Brendan Rogers' shot and it bounced back out to McKinless as well? Is that a fluke that you ended up as the last man back? <laughs> I don't know. No, I think there should be more rushing back maybe to save the goal line there. But um, I thought it was on a winner, actually. I thought it was after making a great save and your man came in and scored a goal. I was sickened. But... Uh, the uh, no Shane Shane is an unbelievable keeper and uh, look he's 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 in serious form and I actually said last week I said Shane Ryan for a point would be a good bet I don't know that if it uh, do it or not but um, he kicked a great score as well and we we have huge confidence in in his defend or his goalkeeping and his shot stopping and draw on the ball as well yeah no he's been so massive and uh, he tends to play well against Dublin as well which is a big thing you know we saw I think in both semi finals. Uh, the squeeze that Dublin put on Monaghan for two or three minutes from the 68th minute and likewise you boys from the 66th to the 69th you got four points you went from two points and to two points up so um, I think everyone is looking forward to seeing how that transpires in the All-Ireland final Yeah look it's, it's an obvious tactic by the Dubs that they can put that, that tight squeeze on um, we're lucky Shane has a great temperament and he's very calm um, you need to be there if the hill is behind you and the Dubs are putting a squeeze on that you have a calm keeper you can't you can't uh, rattle Shane really to be honest. So mm. he's uh, he's a great keeper to have, and he's uh, but look that's something that we we're going to work on. Uh, maybe getting our hands on ball or whatever the case may be there, and um, yeah, so it's exciting. Yeah, that point is probably coming from. He's been racking them up in club championships over the years, hasn't he? Playing outfield, so uh, that was a good shot. I didn't hear you you say that last <laughs> week. Um, that Derry game, like what a game of football. Um, and I'm sure you've gone through it as well. It was just from from minute go. It was unbelievable. What what was your feeling playing it like? Was it pure helter skelter? Or did you get a bit of control? Or was it was it mad? Or did you feel quite calm? Um, there was times in the first half. All right, it was they had a couple of onslaughts there, and especially after Demos black card. Um, but I know we felt calm. Like I think at half time it showed a lot of experience and leadership that's in the group that we had drawn. We kept things calm. We just sorted out things. What we were going to do in the second half. And I think I thought we had a good, strong second half. To be honest, um, no, obviously Derry had a couple of chances that if they'd taken them, it could have been a different story. But um, we we have a lot of improving to do definitely for the next day. Um, but um, a bit of a mad game, all right? Yeah, yeah. Like Derry's first score is a goal. The lads in the football pod were saying Derry need goals. First <laughs> score is the goal. Like you respond immediately. Like that that move with White was was brilliant. Um, is it a, it's a cliche in soccer that the easiest time to score is straight after a goal but like it kind of transpired at the weekend as well yeah and I think it was the opposite way around Derry and Cork Cork yeah. got a goal and then Derry scored one immediately after so yeah um, it's something we'll have to be mindful of the next day as well like that um, if either goal throw, if they don't score a goal we might have a chance the other side or yeah. either or but um, no it was a great response and I think that again that shows great great leadership and great uh, maturity there that we were able to go down and get a score straight away and uh, settle, the, settle the nerves a bit. It's 2016 when you broke into the Kerry squad, so you've had plenty of battles with the dubs, whether it be league games down in Clarny or Tralee or in Crow Park and All Ireland semi finals or finals. Do you like playing them? Yeah, love it, yeah. Why? It's just the challenge of it, really, to be honest. Like they're, they were the best team back then, they're still the best team or one of the best teams now. Um, they're just a huge challenge the way they put that squeeze on you, um, all their top players. That's what you want. Like you want to be playing against the best players. You want to be challenged like that. Um, they're always tight games. They're always nip and tuck. They're always one point or whatever the case may be. So um, I don't think I'll be as nervous this time as I was in 2016, maybe. But um, yeah, it's that's always a great occasion. Really, I have a lot mm. of. I'm half a dub myself, like so. Oh I have, yeah, a, I have a lot of. Fa- my mum's a dub, so okay. uh, I have a lot of family up around Clontarf, Port Marnock, and stuff like that. So I, uh, it's a it's a big occasion for the family, right? Oh, that's, that's great. Um, yeah. Are you are you back home in Blackwater or Temple? No, or are you living in? Or are you, are you living back home? I live in Clarny here. Okay. Yeah. What's the like? Clarny? Do they just let you off? Like they're so used to All Ireland finals here that you're not kind of getting. St- uh, what's it like? Or is there a buzz? Yeah. Or 
Ah, there's a buzz around, obviously, but yeah, the Kerry people kind of leave you to your to yourself, really. Maybe like obviously you might meet a few kids or whatever, obviously, and you give them time. But um, the majority of people kind of leave you, leave you, leave you be. Really, they know that you're concentrating on something else. But are uh, you be kind of staying out? Like it's Killarney's a busy town. Like you be, you might be staying staying out a bit, a little bit um, yeah. these couple of weeks and um, just staying to your own people. Like you know, has the rhythm been a big thing? You know, getting into the All Ireland quarter final, having two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Um, has that has that been a a big thing for you? Um, yeah, big time. Um, I suppose after the day in Killarney, I didn't, we didn't think that we were going to get that rhythm of two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, mm. but um, it worked out perfectly in the end, no, to be honest with you. And um, like two weeks is probably optimal, all right, maybe for an All Ireland final, maybe three weeks would be better, but um, it's, it's the condensed season is, is great. Like, yeah. 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 Uh, just sorry, I got distracted there, back to the dubs. <laughs> um, like 2019, looking back on that those two games and I know 2022 is possibly more relevant but back in 2019 you nearly catch them in the first game like they're going for their five in a row they're chasing history in the replay in the first half of the replay I hope you don't take offence to this it looked like men against boys at times mm. there, there actually hasn't been that many changes to the panel since it's amazing Johnny Cooper's left David Moore and there's been a couple other coming and going does it feel a bit more even now given that you won last year by a point um I don't know, like they've after adding a fair collection of lads there the last couple of, uh, this year. Or so um, I'm not look. I'm not sure. We're not really looking back at 2019 or anything. We're just concentrating in the here and now. And um, as I said, they've they've brought back a lot of a lot of bodies, and um, it's going to be a huge a huge game. Really, we have, we're we're not like looking back on that or anything. We're just concentrating in the now, to be honest. And when it gets to All Ireland final day and playing the Dubs and Dublin Kerry, the noise that's going to be there in the stadium, are you able to? You said you're a bit nervous before. Are you able to enjoy it? The the walk around beforehand, the pre-match parade. Are you going to do anything to make sure that you savour that? Yeah, big time. Yeah, no. Look, uh, 2016 was probably my first big day out in Crocker like that. It was probably a little bit nervous, but I'd be a fairly calm individual usually. Like last year, the parade and all that before the semi-final was massive, and I'm sure the atmosphere the next day would be great. Um, no, I I I tend to just relax and enjoy it to be honest and. Uh, they're the things you want to savour and enjoy and that's why you want to be at this stage, you know. That's a look, Tyke. Enjoy the build-up. Cheers, Tony. Good luck, man. Thanks.